plaintiff, Chanel Roberts, says soon after she started dating the defendant, she caught him texting other women. So she broke things off. Chanel is suing her ex for a birthday gift and emotional distress. Defendant Vincent Mitchell says Chanel is extremely controlling. And even if he missed one call from her, there was hell to pay. Vincent's countersuing because he claims while on a trip to Las Vegas, Chanel showed up and started stalking him. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. All right. I met Vincent um, in November of 2020. We met on a dating app, um, Judge Mathis, which was a new experience for me all in itself. Um, we had a great conversation. We connected instantly. And within a few days, you know, he gave me his number. Within a week or so, we were meeting face to face. Um, so um, I drove over the bridge to meet with him um, for the first time. Bridge. And Skyway Bridge. Skyway? Okay. Skyway Bridge. Yes, sir. St. Pete? St. Pete. Okay. I lived there. Did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Go ahead. And so... I had a vacation home there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All my family's from St. Pete, Tampa area. They okay. They have about 40 relatives. Okay, cool. Just left cool. there a few weeks ago, a few weeks before that, a few weeks before that. So all I'm right. always down there. Well, hopefully all the St. Pete apples don't fall from the same tree. That's but right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I drove over to um, meet him face-to-face. -face. Okay. I drove over to meet him face-to-face -face for the first time, and um, honestly, it was like we had known each other forever. Where you stay off? 22nd or something? No, I'm a Pinellas Point guy, too. Pinellas Point? Mm-hmm. You had you a rich man. So anyway, Judge, well, yeah. like I said, <laughs> I drove over. Them apartments down there. <laughs> I drove over to meet him, and um, we connect. It was like we known each other forever. You know, it was a good time, and immediately he wanted to be exclusive. Um, like I said, it was something new for me. Even the connection that we had was new. So um, immediately, you know, there were red flags that um, I ignored. To be perfectly honest with you, and um, like what? Um, so like him just being flirtatious on social media, him not... How did you know what he was doing on social media? Because we, he, we friended each other on all our social media. Okay, and you were following him. Mm -hmm. And what type of flirtations would he do, knowing that he's dating you? What exactly. Would he so he's making flirtatious comments up under women's um, posts. So he and what was, was doing, he saying? He was saying all kind of stuff. I, I'll show you okay. later if you want to know. Um, so <laughs> stuff like that. Um, and again, just like... We're just getting to know each other, but you know, I'm getting to know his daily routine, that type of thing. But him being, I can't reach him on the phone sometimes, him canceling, you know, dates that we have kind of like at the last minute. None, you know, nonetheless. This is how far into your dating? This is within the first, like, this is going on like the first few months. A few months? Yes, okay. going on the first few months. Mm -hmm. um, Let me get some info from him and okay. then I'll get back. Sir? How you doing today, Judge? Ugh. I've been a big fan of yours and the show, and I also, I'm familiar with you being from St. Pete, so uh, you can take it a little easy on me today. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> but uh, Chanel and I started dating back in um, November of last year, and truthfully speaking, she's like truly one of the most controlling, almost so controlling to a point where she's somewhat delusional. Yeah, I just heard her say she wanted to know your schedule. I was just getting to learn his schedule. Nah, and she said, she said, I said learn. Said. learn. I said learn. <laughs> Was a little assertive in her testimony. Every time I say something, she say, "Yeah, well, let's get back to what I was saying." <laughs> if I miss a phone call, uh -huh. it's, it's hell to pay. I see. Yeah, I'm have to, she's either gonna block me, curse me out, or or put me on time, a punishment or something for missing a phone call. I'm an auto broker. I don't I don't have a set schedule. Some days are gonna be longer than others. Some days I don't have to do anything to do. Depending on who she is, huh? Oh. No, depending on who the client is. Oh, the client. The That's client. What yes, sir. The client. There you go. Oh, yeah. it's, just right. the client. it's just the client. It's just the client. And on uh, back in November, I fell asleep at her house uh, with my phone open. She went through my phone. She seen some things. And A lot of things. What she seen was an innocent conversation between me and a. A friend. Of How Muslim. long had you all been dating at, by that time? Like two and a half to three months. Okay. You might have to detangle sometimes when you meet someone that you really like. I would assume there's a, a period in which you have to let somebody down. 
And sometimes you gotta let them down easy. When I first met Linda, I was dating somebody in college and I had to let them down. Them <laughs> because I like Linda. Judge and Mathis. it took a minute. She had, you know, I was down too, Judge down Mathis. With she had to let somebody down too, y'all. Them conversations didn't look like let down. Them conversations look like, what's up? Lift up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was pulling his head out the lion's mouth no, he, he, got, he got to snatch it when he dealing with me. He better snatch it up out of there. Especially yeah, how hard he came. You know, like it's, he said. Well, when he dealing with me, he better snatch it he from came my hard. Man. Judge Mathis, he came hard at me, so therefore all his other actions should be just as hard. That's the way I see it. Go ahead, Vince. Uh, Look at her! Oh, man, please! I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know who to look at or who to answer to. That's right. You don't know whether to look at me and answer to me or to look at her and answer to her. See what she say? Go ahead, Vince. So, So since she said it. Like, you know, you gotta, like I say, she's seen things in my phone, but what she's seen me as being an active participant in, it all predated her. And, and, and Yana, just for when she said about flirting, any conversation or any interaction she deems as flirting. Did you see anything that said, mm, that was good last night? Oh, I definitely. Maybe I, it wasn't good. That was horrible last night. No, but I saw things that indicated that there had been meetups, women calling him daddy, him. Oh, he's talking to old new, old women, new women, women he hadn't met before. I'm tall, dark, like you like him. It was, it was, it was, he was doing the most. The most. <laughs> Nonetheless, when I went through it, I saw what I shared with you, and I woke him up, and I told him he got to go. He'd been lying to me in my face, like literally, like it hurt. And he had to go. I was done with him. Get up and get up out of here. Your Honor. You're pretty broken up about it. I was. How long were you all together? Two months? Three months at that time. That was a long relationship. Man. It was, Judge. Don't do me like that. It was. He came hard at me. Don't you like what? Three months was three months is like forever with me. This ain't no chance that I give nobody. I open my whole life up to this man. My family, my friends, my kids, my home, every part so of my life. Three months. Of his, you, you right? Know you absolutely right. You right. Months. You absolutely right. You don't know That's nothing about somebody in three months. You right. Even if they stand right. with you every night. You right, which he to almost put, was. To put things in perspective, Judge, if you can turn to page three, when how she's talking about the three months, you can just see how she thinks about time. You called me 11 minutes after you text me. 11 minutes feel like 11 years when I'm waiting to hear from my baby. Oh, yeah. Don't play with me, Vincent. <laughs> hey, Your Judge, Honor, that, I that was might... in the barber's chair laid back getting my face shaved. <laughs> And she blocked me for 11 hours. Back to the story. I give him another chance after the February we go through the phone. Um, After that, it was just one thing after another after another. We're working, trying to rebuild trust. So just continue to try to work on it. Um, Just really did mess me up. And, um, you know, and he'll say I'm controlling I'm this is that and the other. But he didn't have to deal with those things that first three months which is why he was with me those first three months, which is why you'll see on my evidence on page two, (laughs) Judge Mathis, after I went in his phone and put him out, the first thing that he said, I'm wrong, dead A wrong, not stroking my ego, none of this can't or nor will turn this this man around, and it's all on me. If it was stuff that predated me, what he apologizing for? I want to be with you and I'm going to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to my controlling self, so, like I said, just through the different incidences that continued on over the next couple of months like of us trying to, okay, so um, he got upset that I put him out one time, kicked the door while I was putting his stuff, it ended up hitting me, just different, everything, it was like some, always something, always something, always something, you know, just so what I told this you earlier. So, how much money? So, I want $2,041 back, Judge. What's the $41? So, the $41. Well, where I'm from, when mm-hmm. you're growing up, when you turn, whatever age you turn, that's how much money, like, your family would give you. Okay. So he was turning one, 41, so I extended an olive branch, gave him $41 for lunch. Okay. I sent it to him for lunch. I want that back, too, Judge. Okay. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, the law doesn't allow that. When a gift is complete, it's his. It's no longer yours. So that's out. What's the 2000 for? So the 2000 is just for the emotional distress that oh. I experienced just trying to... In three months? In, no, in... Six months. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
It started in three months. It so. started in And you allowed it to continue. I did. Okay. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, you want 2000 for it. Something that happens to every single person after adolescence. They have relationship problems. Every single person uh, in the history of the world after age 12 have relationship problems. Yet yeah, you want 2000 for yours. I do. Okay. So let's see how that works out. Okay. What's your count? What's your counterclaim? How does she owe you for a thousand? Harassment and I, I, I would like to say aggravated stalking. Tell me, Your Honor. Um, you know, during the time of after April and between my birthday, you know, I was trying to you know make up because I didn't want to hurt her. I really do love the woman, so I didn't want to hurt her. I was trying everything I could to you know let's let's get together, let's do something. So I had some family. Uh, uh, turning 30, they were going to Vegas. So I was like, hey, let's go to Vegas. You know what I mean? Let's go to Vegas. Uh, you know, things happening in, in between of going to Vegas, like, you know, she would get mad at me and things of that nature. So the day it was time to buy the plane tickets, I asked her. She didn't like the manner I asked her. She's telling me, if you wanted me to go, you would have just bought the ticket, so I'm not going. And then I was like, you sure you're not going? So. I was still bought my ticket and Dude, extended my stay. Stop lying. Y'all planned and booked that trip when we were Damn, not together. Finish, I bought my ticket finish, and extended please. my stay. She and I didn't talk anymore until Saturday morning at 2.30 a.m. Why we ain't talk, Vince? Because she was mad at me. She thought I was in Vegas with another woman mm -hmm. while she was supposed to be there with me. So we were going, we were going into Flamingo Casino. It's like 2.30 in the morning, you know, West Coast time. I get a phone call. Hey, are you in bed? No, I'm in the casino. What's up? She hangs up the phone. So for the next two and a I half hours, up. I'm getting phone calls, text messages How while I'm at the it? roulette table, Your Honor. What? Boy, where you at? What are you doing? Exactly. Who are you with? Just like, just. You have any of those text messages Please today? Please show us. What page? I'm well, page two. To see that. Well, page one and two are the messages of her. Uh, um, you saw letting a me picture know. of the. Uh, Where's the, the messages table? of me where you harassing asking, you about Nell? where you at? This is you asking. Yes, because she sent me a picture of the casino while I'm playing roulette in. So you know where I'm at. Why are you asking? But, Your Honor, I hadn't talked to her in four days. Mm -hmm. She told me her and her girlfriends were going somewhere else. So you feel she was stalking you in the sense that well, she didn't give you notice? What are you saying? Harassed well, you how? Well, Your Honor, she was supposed to come with me. She didn't come with me, and her and her two cousins were literally following how me and my cousin. How much do you want for her not coming with you? $1,000. Okay, because for she didn't go With emotional distress from the emotional terrorists, Your Honor. Oh. For taking the pitch, what did she do to you, sir? She she, she literally it? ruined my time in Vegas. How? What did she do? I, the text? No, Your Honor. She was like literally calling me, like wanting me to come take care of her because she didn't got too drunk and just like like I I had plans for Vegas that didn't include her that weekend. Okay, so and now that's, having to go and take care of her. Yes, sir. All right, you were forced to do it. No, I wasn't. Okay, so you entered that harassment on your own. Pretty now much. Now you want money for it. All right. The uh, end of this story is neither one of you get a dime. Both your claims are dismissed. Have a good day. You too, Thank you, Judge. The first time I met you, I wasn't lying to you about how I felt. That's the main reason why I never left. That's the reason why I still fight. I love you. You know you're my baby. So it's like... Y'all bring the judge back, please, because this... It's contradiction already. He just told the judge one thing, now he loved me and I'm still his baby. Ju what, judge? Mm -hmm.